Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Knowledge Mansion with me, Luca. Now, quickly before we start, I'm sorry for not uploading last week. Please do not boycott my channel. Okay, I'm just kidding. And all, <laughs> and also, now, um, just need to say in Port Royal when I was talking about it before the earthquake, I said the earthquake happened in 1962, but it was actually 1692. Um, if you haven't watched that, I suggest you go watch Port Royal Before the Earthquake, another one of my videos. And uh, let's just go into it. Nordic Countries by me, Luca. What are they? The Nordic countries are made up of the five nations of Finland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Finland's flag here. Iceland, Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Which one is your favorite? Say in the comment. Nordic Islands. So here we have Iceland here, we have Norway, Sweden, and Finland, and Denmark here. Now, you have Holland here, which is really small. Kind of a funny thing is that this was originally just a part of Sweden, officially, but then Finland didn't know it was belonged to Sweden, and they built a lighthouse on it. So then they had to do this really strange border thing, so then Holland ended up actually becoming split between the two of them. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. Up here in the Arctic, owned by Norway, we have Svalbard Mads. If you're uh, watching this, you, you know who you are, and you're from Norway. Please, please, can you get correct pronunciation, if you can. You have the Faroe Islands up here, which is officially a part of Denmark. I have Iceland there. And then you may not have known this, Greenland is actually officially a part of Denmark. So Denmark looks really small, but Denmark is like bigger than Germany, Italy, France combined, just because it owns Greenland. So yeah, facts. Military. So we have the Danish Defense Force, the Finnish Defense Force, Norwegian Armed Forces, and Swedish Armed Forces. Sorry about that. Iceland. Iceland does not have a military, however, it has a coast guard and a peacekeeping unit. They are defended by NATO. I personally, they can do whatever they want because it's their country, but still, um, they don't, re in my personal opinion, I don't think they really need to be defended by anybody because they're hundreds of miles away with water and they're all the way up in the Arctic as well. And they have volcanoes. And the thing about it is that it it's so actually really, really hard to do a naval, like an amphibious landing, like, and then to do hundreds of miles is just incredibly, incredibly difficult, if not nearly impossible. Now, counting Iceland's Coast Guard symbol, which one is your favorite? Iceland's Coast Guard symbol or... Danish Defense Force, Finnish Defense Force, Norwegian Armed Forces, the Swedish Armed Forces. Honestly, I think it's Swedish Armed Forces because literally, I mean, how can you go wrong? That looks amazing. Uh, leave it in the comments below. We have active frontline personnel. Denmark, 25,000. Reserves, 63,000. Sweden, 14,000. Reserve, 26,000. Finland, 37,000. Reserve 357,000. You probably think Finland has a quite a large population for this. Actually, Sweden has a larger population. It's just that in Finland, literally everybody has a serve man, woman, literally the entire population. And then you have to stay in the reserves after that. So that's why. And then Norway, 26,000 active personnel, 45,000 reserve. Norway also has mandatory conscription. It's just the thing is, it's only for 18-year-old males for like a year or two. So, yeah. Tanks and stuff. Finland, 250 tanks. AFVs, 1,370. AFV, equal armored fighting vehicle. You know those, like, armored vehicles with those guns on top, which, like, rotate 360 degrees and they're on, like, eight wheels? Yeah, those. Aircraft, total aircraft, 155. Sweden, tanks, 120. AFVs, 2,470. Aircrafts, total aircraft, 228. Denmark. Tanks, 57. AFV, 673. Aircraft, 74. Norway, tanks, 52. AFV, 684. Aircraft, 104. AFV, and then... Nope. <laughs> Sorry, made a mistake. 
Living standards and economy. Norway is number one in the world for living standards, but it has quite a high ta taxation rate as well as pretty much all of them. I think Finland is like the lower. I think Finland and Iceland are the lowest for taxes. But anyway, GDP, basically the amount of money a country makes every year. Norway, 351 billion. PPP or GDP per capita. Basically, how much money each person makes in that country on average every year. 67,000. Denmark, 10th in the world for living standards. 257 billion for GDP, 45,000 for GDP per capita. Finland, 24th in the world for living standards. 224 billion for our GDP, and PPP is 41,000. Iceland, GDP, 14 billion. They're not poor. They have a small population. And they they have a small population, so they don't need and can't make a lot of money. And their GDP per capita is actually higher than Finland. It's 44,000. Well, they have a small population, so that kind of makes sense. Sweden is 12th in the world for living standards and has a GDP of 467 billion and a GDP per capita of 48,000. We have a picture of what looks to be somewhere. Oh my gosh, what happened <laughs> with the arrow? Um, so this is a place in Norway that looks amazing, or maybe Greenland. Somewhere looks amazing. There's snow. I want to go there, and it looks like the water is frozen over. Huh. Oh well. You have um another picture of what looks to be Norway. And then, I guess that's pretty much that. You keep calm and love the Nordics, people. This looks like Switzerland, but it's, 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 it, it just looks nice, okay? So, yeah, keep, remember to keep calm and love the Nordics. Um, here are my sources. Check them out. Know this world and firepower. Firepower does really good military comparisons, and know this world is just all around political and whatnot information. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back to this image because it looks the best. So quickly, before I end this video, please do like if you enjoyed, and also if you're not quite sure what to do, just leave a like anyway, cause it, cause I'm small. And the more likes it gets, is the more likely it is to show up on recommended pages. And then we all also, um, if you haven't already, or if you never, or if you're new, just subscribe, because I try to upload a video every Sunday. I mean, last week I didn't. I'm sorry. I was. I'm sorry. Look, I had work to do. And then, but anyway, yeah, just subscribe. Because I try to upload a new video every Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Knowledge Mansion. And I guess I'll see you next Sunday. Hopefully.